very much, Mr. Chairman, ICP. It was a public presentation of the report of the National Conference on Transparency, Accountability and Ethical Values in Tertiary Institutions for Sustainable Growth. The report deals extensively with corruption in tertiary institutions, challenges in management and funding, and also ethics and compliance in public procurement, non-adherence to which have resulted to about 65 billion naira of unaccessed funds left in the coffers of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund as of May 2014. The money that is so freely given, though with conditions, with expectations, are lying there unspent. In some cases, where they are spent, they are being inappropriately spent. The funds are unaccessed, not because state fund is interested in keeping them, no, but because of our desire to ensure that the funds are used judiciously. And if the requirements as stated in our template are not met, then we don't release no matter the pressure. The downside of corruption to tertiary education is said to make rubbish of the belief that tertiary education sector is the key driver of development. A trend the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission hopes to reverse. The teaching of anti-corruption should be a general, uh, general studies program, early entry university level program. And we canvass this, whether you are studying science, political science, law, whatever you're studying, you are also part of the process that should be ready to fight corruption. The Independent Corrupt Practices Commission has had numerous petitions coming in from students, staff, unions, and other players in tertiary institutions, causing it to conduct a university study system review. Hopefully, these will pave way to correcting corrupt-prone processes and salvaging the country's education sector. Omelogo Nadi, Channels Television.